today's lecture, we will discuss multiple component mixtures. Here's an example down here where you have a mixing tank system and you have two flows coming in and one flow going out, but you will notice that the flow coming in has two components. We call them A and B, and then the second flow has two components, B and C. Then you can see the third, the out, has all three components, A, B, and C. So you might imagine that this is, uh, B might be water, and A might be glucose, and C could be salt. So we use the same equations to solve these systems that have multiple components. So in a multiple component system, a weight fraction of a certain species, in the case before, could either be the glucose, the water, or the salt. The weight fraction is going to be the mass flow rate of that species. So in flow A, let's say it's the glucose, the rate that the glucose is entering over the rate that both the glucose and the water together in stream A are entering. And then the mole fraction is going to be the mole rate that the glucose was entering over the total molar rate of everything going into the stream. With the relationship between the moles and the mass flow rate being through the molecular weight of the species, whether it's the water, the glucose, or the salt. For multi-component systems, the number of moles going in in a stream is going to be a sum of the number of moles flowing in for each of the species in the stream. And then the same with the amount of mass flowing in the stream is going to be some of the mass that's flowing in the stream. So an example, you've got a system and it comes in and you've got 10 grams of water and one gram of uh, glucose, let's say, then the mass flow, and these are all per minute flowing, then the total mass flowing in then is going to be the sum of the species. So it's going to be 10 grams per minute plus the 1 gram per minute. There's 11 grams, so the mass total flow rate is 11 grams per minute. And that's what this is saying here. This is saying the same thing but in moles. Realize that if you add up the weight fractions for each of the components in this stream here, let's say, the weight fraction of the water is going to be 10 over 11, and then the weight fraction for the glucose in this case is going to be 1 over 11. You will notice that when you add the weight fraction of the water and the glucose, you get 11 over 11, which is 1. So that's what this is saying here. And you also, if you add up the mole fractions in a stream, they will also add up to 1. So now we can apply the conservation equation. Let's draw the system. Then, and you have some inputs and you have outputs here that you can sum all the ends for a given species. So if you've got component A and B coming in here and component A and B coming in here and component A and B coming out here, then for a given species, you can add up the, let's say this is one, two, and three. So basically the mass of A going in one plus the mass of A going in two minus the mass of A, which is an out. So it's the sum of the ins minus the sum of the outs. And the third has got to be equal to zero because you have no accumulation of A inside. And then you can do the same thing for B. And you can do this for species mass. You can also do it for element mass. And it also translates to moles. So here now we've got a system that's got A and B coming in flow 1, B and C going in flow 2, and then A, B, and C coming out in flow 3. So now to write the equations, we can write an equation for each species. So let's start with A and then write an equation for B, an equation for C, 
and then you can also write a total equation. So as you can see, the, the weight fraction of A in flow 1, that's what fraction of this flow, if it's 50-50, it would be 0.5. And then if you multiply that by the mass flow rate in this first stream, that is equal to mass flow rate of A. And then You'll notice there's no a in row two, so then we can go to three, which is an out, which is minus a in th the fraction of this that's a in three times the mass flow rate in three. You'll notice that this is the same as saying the mass flow rate a in one. This is the mass flow rate in three. And then this all has to equal zero. In B, you'll see that there's B in all three streams, so you end up with the fraction in the flow 1 plus the fraction in 2 times its flow rate minus the B fraction of B in 3 times the mass flow rate in 3, and this all has to be equal to 0. In the C, there's no C flowing in this first, and there's C in the second, so it's the mass flow rate C in the second times the mass flow rate in two minus the weight fraction of C in the third times the mass flow or total mass flow rate in three is equal to zero. And you will notice that here the total then is the mass flow rate in one plus the mass flow rate in two minus the mass flow rate in three is equal to zero because this is the you're summing this mass flow rate this mass flow rate these are the ins minus the outs and you get this now note these are the four equations that you can generate for this system however these four equations there are only three of these that are linearly independent if you add the weight fraction of one a plus the weight fraction of one b you get one so if you add these three equations together you will get this equation